Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Inna. I'm a Twitch streamer and we also do reaction videos here on YouTube, but we also talk a lot about music. We analyze music. We go to concerts. We we love this magical universe and uh, I'm a newbie. I have had this channel for eight months and the community that was created around here and on Twitch was so incredible as, and has taught me so many things about this universe, but I am still learning every single day. Uh, one of the things that really picked up my curiosity a few months ago was when somebody mentioned on Twitch that apparently there's a thing called band riffs. Apparently they are iconic iconic yet very controversial melodies and songs that have faced censor, uh, censorship and lots of controversy around the years. There's one major thing that these songs have in common. You can't play them in guitar stores. <laughs> You can for a very simple reason. So apparently these songs are beginner friendly in some type of way. Like it doesn't mean that they're necessarily easy, but when somebody tries to play guitar for the first time and they know the main chords and they kind of know how a guitar works, they will probably try to uh, to play these, these songs. So what happens when beginners, lots of beginners try to play the same songs over and over and over and over again. It, it just, it's just a lot. It's, it's a lot and apparently it doesn't create a nice environment in guitar shops. So basically what happened is that lots of these uh, beginners went to guitar stores and tried new guitars to purchase or like just goofing around seeing looking looking at these guitars trying them on and they would play most of the time these songs but they are beginners and as such they're probably not the best musicians in the world and apparently these created lots of discomfort in stores for example um it would just bother other customers maybe other customers were were trying to tune a guitar or something just trying to play it but then they were bothered by these band riffs played by just not excellent guitar players uh stuff like that happened all the time and uh, many guitar stores literally put signs on saying that they were banned like you are not allowed to play these riffs in guitar stores or they will probably like what do they even do do they just kick you out they'll probably be like can you not play that but if you continue playing they will probably kick you out uh-huh <laughs> okay so the first band reef probably doesn't need doesn't even need an introduction because it's that famous uh it's deep purple smoke on the water let's give it a listen together let's give it a play <laughs> Does it sound familiar? And here we have the second one, super famous Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin, which um, has lots of controversy regarding the, you know, beginners playing it and stuff. But like also, apparently stuff has happened to it during the years. For example, uh, they have a lawsuit um, for copyright because apparently there's some other band that is saying that the beginner the beginning of stairways to heaven was actually copied from uh, a song of theirs i don't know how that one ended actually and then apparently if you play the song backwards it sounds like some something that has to do with hell apparently you're calling satan I don't know about that, but apparently it's a thing. <laughs> so let's give a listen to the second band riff of the list. Say we to heaven, Led Zeppelin. Do you recognize it?
it's definitely a gorgeous gorgeous song and i can see why so many people want to learn how to play it honestly i want to learn to play it myself okay on to the third one of the list we have metallica as you guys know i will be seeing metallica live in april and i'm so freaking excited and i do hope that they play this song this was actually the first song ever that i heard from them and uh, it's enter sandman enter sandman riff is also banned let's check it out together So freaking good! I could stay here and listen to the whole song. Isn't it? Next on the list we have Nirvana with Smells Like Teen Spirit. Honestly, I can say that this is probably one of the few rock songs that I listened in middle school. So I can see why it's very popular. Like I got to listen to that in middle school, so I can only imagine how many more people in the world listen to it. Oh, it's such a good one. Let's not listen to the whole song now, but it's tempting. It's tempting to listen to the whole thing. <laughs> All right, and the last band riff that I will introduce you to in this specific video is going to be ACDC, Thunderstruck. Oh, it's such a good one. It was literally my first ACDC song. You can see the reaction here on YouTube. It was so good. It made me fall in love with the band, and I can totally see why this one is a band riff. Let's play it together. Here it goes. <gasps> Iconic is honestly the only word that I would use to describe each of these songs. They are masterpieces of music and I'm so happy that I, I have a chance to listen to them and I can listen to them every single time that I want to because they're so good. They are just that good. So guys, did you know all of these? Of course, these are only five that I mentioned because I feel like they are the most famous ones, the most known ones, and these are the ones that I personally knew. But the list goes on. There are so many more... Um, Ben Reeves out there in the world. So if you're curious, if you want to check them out with me, of course, we can we can do that. We can do a part two to this video. So just let me know in the comments down below. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that it was an enjoyable experience for you. And I will see you soon. Bye! <laughs>